Welcome, everyone. Yay! We're so pumped to have you back for our third live stream. I'm Tabitha Lupian. And I'm Diane Aguilar. And we're both your hosts and founding members of the Counterbalance Collective. I act, write, and produce. And I act, direct, and produce. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we are live, which means anything can happen, but hopefully nothing too crazy does. Yeah, like if uh, baby panda were to walk in just now. Tabs, do you have a baby panda? I, I, that's illegal. Oh no, uh, the panda gave me consent. Uh-huh, yeah, I think you've been watching too much Tiger King. <laughs> Moving on, um, you might be wondering, what is Counterbalance Collective? We are a film collective bringing gender parity to the film industry by producing women-led, women-focused stories. Tonight, we bring to your eyeballs two shorts from our film anthology, Closed Doors. Last year, we shot nine films in nine days back to back based on the theme of public personas and private truths. And as an added bonus, we will be hosting a first time producers panel with members of our collective. Now, for the audience, I want to give you a little warning as our live show is unrated, so there may be coarse language and sexuality. So put in those headphones or don't. I mean, you do you. <laughs> okay, let's meet these boss ass women. I'm Tabitha Lupian, and I'm a producer, writer, and actress on season one and two. I'm Carrie Kwong. I'm a producer and writer in season two. My name is Joanna Saul. In season one, I was an actor, director, and producer. And in season two, I will be producing, writing, and acting. I'm Regina Pandiva. I did writing, set deck, hair, makeup, wardrobe, and <laughs> I guess other things. I'm Megan Warby. I'm a producer and writer for season two, and I'm also producing this show. Hi, I am Erica Nanato. I am a first-time writer and director for season one. I also help produce and executive produce. And for season two, I am going to direct and act. Hi, I'm Victoria Kucher, executive producer, writer, director, actor, producer, and more of season one. Hi, I'm Kunima Parkinson-Jones. I'm a season two member of the Counterbalance Collective and I'm coming on as a director. I'm Leanne Noel-Smith, I'm an actress and producer, and in season one, I helped by editing, producing, directing, acting, and post-production. Hi, I'm Melanie Grace, and I did behind the scenes for season one before I was a collective member. Hey, my name is Diana Aguilar. Season one, I was an executive producer, writer, director, actor, and production manager. Season two, I'll be acting, directing, and producing. I'm Megan Miles and I was a writer, actor, and a director on season one. Hello, I'm Bridget Ori. On season one, I was a producer and an actor. I did some wardrobe and a lot of contracts. On season two, I'll be acting, executive producing, and maybe directing. Oh, hey, I'm Alicia Richardson. On season one, I was a writer, director, and an actor. On season two, I'll be writing and acting. Hi, I'm Celeste Calderon of Counterbalance Collective. For season one, I was producer, production manager, production coordinator, first AD, and actress, amongst other fun things. Hi, I'm Matilda Davidson. In season one, I was an executive producer, director, an actor, production manager, an AD, hair, makeup, wardrobe, craft, etc. And in season two, I will be producing, directing, acting, and production managing. Yes! Were they not oozing with empowerment? Oh, yeah. After each film, we are going to meet all of the key creatives, cast, and crew, and they're going to tell us a little bit of the wild and crazy times in front of and behind the camera. Mmm, nine films, nine days. Whose idea was that? Wasn't it you? Oh my god, we collectively agreed, though! Sorry. <sighs> no. Sorry, not sorry. True. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. with our last screening, 
we're hyping up our first time forays into new jobs on set. Tonight, we celebrate first time producers. Let's give a round of applause for our fantastic first part three, Matilda Davidson, Bridget Ori, and Joanna Saul. Hello. 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 <laughs> All right, so we wanna know what inspired you to step into this role. Um, let's start with Matilda. Okay, yeah. Hi, guys. Um, I'm probably going to steal your answers right now, so sorry. Um, yeah, so producing, I guess I really wanted to just sort of challenge myself to do something that I had very little understanding of or experience in. And um, kind of a theme with counterbalances, it was a very safe and constructive place to do that. Um, so, you know, it was really interesting. It kind of turns out that a micro budget production like this as a producer, your job is just to basically do a bit of all of it whenever it's needed, um, which is a great challenge. Um, you know, I've, I'm a Virgo, so I feel like I'm like legally required to like organizing stuff. And I really, <laughs> did, and I really thrived at that. But um, yeah, I think it was a really effective way for sure to just sort of learn everything that's going on at any given time. Um, you know, it is because, you know, it's your job to, it's your business to know what's happening everywhere always. So really good learning, learning experience. Yes, lots of learning. <laughs> Thank you, Matilda. Um, and uh, Bridget, how about you? Hello. Yeah, so it's similar, really. I, I'm primarily an actor, as most of us are in the collective, uh, and I've done a few things um, on set behind the scenes before, but I had never produced and had always been interested in it. And mm -hmm. this was a safe space to do it and a supportive place um, with a bunch of people who uh, would catch me if I fell, basically. So I when we were kind of doling out jobs, I thought, you know, now is the time to see if it's yeah. for me. And um, not that there weren't pressures here, but in terms of yeah, um, professional pressure, it was low on this front because I knew I was supported. So it was just a great place to try. Yay, you succeeded <laughs> so well, Bridget. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And off to Joanna. Yeah, so, I mean, I echo everything Matilda and Bridget said. It was a very safe place to learn how to be a producer. And through this whole journey with Counterbalance, like it may sound silly to some, but I did not realize what exactly a producer does, you know? And I just thought like, oh, they're just like the money person. And I didn't know that they both have a, lead role in being the logistics person but also the creative side so for me as someone who loves lists and organization and also the creative side i thought it was actually a pretty good fit for a role and i had such a great time collaborating with like matilda was the director of one of the ones i produced and leanne was the director of the other one and it was really fun to collaborate with them and help them through each step of the way and make sure they had their vision, uh, you know, come to life as directors. And yeah, it was really fun. And I, I mean, we were kind of just like, or I was just kind of assigned to the role of producer, so I didn't really get a choice. But I'm very happy I did it because I, I learned a lot and learned that it's something I think I would like to do in the future. Yeah. Yeah, that's so good to hear. Collaboration is like our thing. So that's and great. Thank Tabitha, you. you were my producer as the director. Yes, and I must say, you also did incredible as a first time producer. So, Tabitha. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Hyping each other up all the time. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences with our audience. Yay. A big thanks to our producers. We could not have done this without them. Okay, I cannot wait to share all of our films from the Closed Doors anthology with everybody at home. But a quick shout out to 815 Creative Crew for designing our fabulous series poster. This is the part where we ask for your money. Diane, we talked about this. 
Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Everybody knows that the best way to support a company is through word of mouth. Hundo P by liking, following, and sharing our social media, you support indie filmmaking. So please remember, if you are talking about us, tag at Counterbalance Collective on all your platforms. Okay, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Here is Green, directed by Leanne Noel Smith, written by Victoria Kucher, and starring Celeb Calderon. Stay tuned to meet the director and the cast. I've been thinking about you lately. Only you can drive me crazy. Lady, I just want to let you know. I will never let you go. Thanks for the ride. Don't kill the plant. Repot it right away. Yeah, thanks for my cactus. It's a fern. Denise gave this to you to turn your shit around. Do it. Oh, yes, Dracina. Gosh, that's what I meant. I give it three days before it's a goner. Uh -huh, very funny. I'm gonna be the best plant mama. See you guys on Monday. Okay, Angela. Okay, Angela, text Ellie. Elephants are mammals of the family Elephantidae and the largest existing no. land. Okay, Angela, text Ellie. What would you like to say? I love my new plant so much. Heart emoji, broccoli emoji, sent. Message sent. 
Okay, Angela. How to care for a plant. Here are some results you may find helpful. Water your plant regularly. Duh. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Ugh, why? Oh, fuck. Finding the right amount of water for your plant can be tricky. Yeah. <laughs> Should be at the top of the fucking article. You leave me, Justina. Me and you, we had a pact. We're in this together, okay? I will not let you leave me. You cannot go. What, is this a fucking bed to them? Oh, look at Rachel with her big mess of a life. Cause she can't even keep a plant alive, right? Yeah. Whoa.
wow, that was beautiful and not at all relatable. I've literally killed every single plant the past eight months. No, not prickly Patricia. Oh no, she's good, but pray for her. <sighs> okay, friends, it's time to bring on the star and director of Green. Let's give a warm welcome to Leanne Noel Smith and Celeste Calderon. Hello, ladies. Congratulations Hello. and thanks for joining us. Now, a lot of people may not know this, but Green was actually our first film shot of the entire series. Can you give us a little bit of insight of what it was like maneuvering this? Leanne, let's start with you. Ooh, you're muted, darling. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 2021. Um, 2021, the technology, you gotta love it. Uh, so yeah, nobody likes to go first when it comes to you know a big endeavor like this, doing nine shorts in nine days. So. Um, I was really happy though that we we went first because we actually got to you know have everyone high energy. Everyone was putting their best foot forward. Um, I cannot thank everyone on that cast and crew enough. Uh, the plant need, deserves an Oscar. I think we went through maybe like seven or eight of them. And uh, Celed having to act across a plant, like girl, you rocked it. <laughs> and uh, Joanna for pretty much being my um, my sidekick. Uh, I know it was her first time doing producing, but she did awesome. And I, I wouldn't have been able to get that vision across, you know, for the first day we were kind of setting the bar for everyone. And I think everyone did a phenomenal job in the end. 100% teamwork makes the dream work. So Led, what was it like for you? Thank you. Yeah, for me, it was similar to Leanne, a little bit of nerves because it was our very first of nine. And basically because we worked behind the scenes and on the day of in front of the camera for myself for green i had so many other things running through my mind but leanne and joanna are like hey today you're the star take your time chill and they really like they they manned that uh <laughs> that set they women <laughs> that set and it was incredible it was exciting i'm so happy alex broden was amazing as well and Leanne, you're like, just watching it. I'm like, oh, Leanne, you did so amazing. Thank you, it was great. Literally. Thank you, Fred. Oh, we feel you. Everyone here at Counterbalance, we wear so many hats and we wear them all well. Thank you, ladies, and congratulations again. Thank you. Speaking of feeling, I'd like to shout out our season one sponsor, Come as you are co-op. <laughs> yes, a super positive sex toy shop here in Toronto, located at 254 Augusta Avenue. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, Diane, I, I fully support, but um, we are live, so we can all hear you. Yes, yes, yes. I actually was playing a new game, like Angry Birds, but better, uh, but I'm putting that away right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come As You Are is known for providing a safe and comfortable environment where people can access sex information and products, and they also work to mix, make sex toys more accessible for people with disabilities. Right on. That lines up with our mandate as exploratory and accessible content. Yes, Tabs, and you may say that tickles our fancy. Their <laughs> generous donation made a cameo in our next film, Hashtag Winning. Absolutely. Their products might make cameos in a lot of other places, too. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Come as you are. Sending you good vibes. <laughs> All right. Let's get into some hijinks with Hashtag Winning, written and directed by Alicia Richardson and starring Erica Nonato and Gabe Darku. And don't go nowhere, because when we come back, we're chatting with the cast and crew. Enjoy. I've been thinking about you lately. Only you can drive me crazy. Lady, I just want to let you know. I will never let you go.
Honestly, oh. on the bar. We've been over this. But it was Bakasha! Oh. This was my first date in over a year, you asshole. Jewelry from Indonesia. <laughs> it couldn't wait till Monday. You're one of their top picks for brand ambassador. Gotta lock it up by Monday morning, Indonesian time. Okay, give him a call. Already done. I said you'd do one of those my boyfriend picks my outfit videos. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. You haven't done a video with him in like forever. All oh, the stands would die. Uh, Denise? Hello? I'm not doing it. What? 
but you never turned on a gig. I'm doing something different. You'll see. Good night. Right, Diane? So good. Oh my goodness. I, I love the distorted shots in the beginning because I feel like it just pulls you in right away off the top and keeps you there the whole short. Oh, so good. Okay. Yay. Okay, let's welcome hashtag winnings director, Alicia Richardson and her cast, Erica Nanato and Gabe Darku. Hey guys! <laughs> yes. Congrats! It's so good. <laughs> okay, what we want to know is what was the best part about being on set, and particularly for Alicia and Erica, was it difficult navigating between the flashbacks as this was all shot on one day? Um, let's start with Alicia. Yeah, to answer your question 100%, we first shot the flashback, which was a daytime shoot. And then we had to get all that done. And then the rest of the short takes place at night. So um, Erica had to get processed into another look. And thanks to quick thinking from my DOP, Devin Highland, he said, well, let's mark it all with like spike tape. And let's make sure we know the exact positioning of the camera and Erica's marks. That way we can recreate this when she's in the new look and we can shoot other things in, in the meantime. So uh, he mm -hmm. came through in the clutch and if it weren't for him, I, I would have messed that up. Um, so uh, one of the huge things that I learned from directing for the first time was to really trust my actors and that actors have incredible imaginations if you just let them run wild. So at first I didn't block out the flashback scene. I just said, Gabe, do something romantic and suave that makes me swoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, you know, make my heart all a flutter. And I didn't really tell him exactly what to do. I said, you know, you're going to dip her in twirl or kiss her or something. Like, you'll figure it out. And it was just so magical. Yes. I mean, I learned that when you let great actors follow their impulses, they will give you a better idea than what you thought in your own head. <laughs> so I let him run wild and that's what he did with it. I was so pleased. And then Erica, I was so surprised at how she had that fit and how she was on the bed jumping and like flipping the bird and just Rah! And just she tapped into rage in a way that was funny and real. And I didn't have to dictate exactly what that looked like. So for me, the biggest blessing that I take away from that is watching actors thrive and giving them space to really explore something. So for me as a creative, I'm not a micromanager, you know? 
Like I just say, yeah. I'm an actor too. So I want to see what you come up with. Um, so mm -hmm. it really is true that casting is 90% of the battle because when I had the right people in place, they, they took the reins and I could just go, yes, that, do that again, mm -hmm. <laughs> do that again, do that again. <laughs> So the other great thing, yeah. shout outs to my first AD, Diane Aguilar. I see you. And uh, yeah. she made it a dream. So if it weren't for her and her level headedness and her quick thinking, um, I, I wouldn't have gotten the shots that I needed. So uh, that's that's what I took away from that experience. Thanks. Um, amazing. Thank you, Alicia. It was all so natural. And congratulations on your directorial debut. Yay. <laughs> okay uh let's move it over to erica how about you um oh man um it was it was fun the day the day before i think what i took away more from that most from that set was the day before i was directing the day after i was acting it's two totally different hats like crazy <laughs> different hats um but it was really nice to see Alicia step into being a director for the first time. Like it was really nice following her lead. And then everyone on that set made me feel very safe. Like they made sure it was a closed set. Um, and only like the DOP and I think one other person and Alicia for, for the intimate scenes. And that challenged me a lot. Like Alicia wrote a really, really, really beautiful script and it scared me a lot at the time. So it helped me grow to who I am now. And then the flashbacks mm -hmm. were easy. Like Gabe, you just like ooze, just ooze <laughs> like charisma, and you're just fun to play off of. Like anyone who knows Gabe knows that he's fun to just play off of. Um, and I learned a lot just from like it was such a short time you were on set, like not that long, but I learned a lot from you just watching you. Um, yeah, so it was it was really fun. <laughs> I just had a fun time. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so much charisma between you two on set. It was so great. Thank you, Erica. Yeah. And now to Gabe. How did you feel on set? Uh, I felt great. Um, it was really a wonderful experience getting to work with all of these amazing artists that I've been getting to know and getting closer to over the years of, of training with them and acting classes. And just for me, the the best part about the experience was just getting to stand back and watch really great, passionate work be done. You know what I mean? It was very, so well organized, so such drive and and vision being put into into this into these stories, and let alone uh, a project in the series being made predominantly by female artists is something that you don't get to be a part of often. And it really made me made me realize that it's something that's missing heavily in our industry right now, and uh, and it's something that I can really hope to to be a part of again. And to 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 knock back on on more of what Alicia was saying, um, her directing style, I think it, it comes naturally to her because she's an actor, and mm -hmm. and yeah. you talk with actors, and they're always going to say some of their favorite directors are acting directors, directors that also mm -hmm. act or, or who have been in that field because they know how to properly communicate with with their mm -hmm. cast and, and and give them the proper space to be able to experiment and to explore in the way she was she was describing. So I really, mm -hmm. really appreciate getting that opportunity and I would be directed by you in any project in the future. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, amazing. Oh, wow. yeah. Thank you for those words, Gabe. It was so nice to watch you work on set. Very, Thank very, you. very nice. Very Thank happy you. to be part of it. Yay. Thank you all, Alicia, Erica, and Gabe, for sharing your beautiful work with us. What an incredible panel. Uh, we'd like to take this time to thank those who have shared their most precious resource with us, their time. Without our entire community, and especially our sponsors, this would have not come to fruition so quickly. So thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts, from the entire Counterbalance Collective. We love seeing your faces. So please follow and like and subscribe to Counterbalance Collective on all our socials so we can stay connected. And we'd love to share our next premiere with you, which is on February 10th, pencil that in, and we will be uh, screening two more short films. 
like tonight, we'll be streaming it on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. All thanks to the lovely folks at Stage 10 and our producer and collective member, Megan Warby. Who is Superwoman? Who is Superwoman? <laughs> <laughs> she is superwoman. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hope to see you then. Bye, and thank you for joining us. Tabitha? Diane. Dense party. Dance party. Uns, 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 uns. Counterbalance, counterbalance. Like, follow, share. Like, follow, share. Like, follow, share. Like, follow, share. Like, follow, share.